Hi friends, welcome back to Team Education. Friends, in this video, we are solving problems on orthogonal trajectories. Friends, here you observe the given problem is find the orthogonal trajectories of the family of curves x square by a square plus y square by b square plus lambda is equal to 1, where lambda is a parameter. Okay, friends, here you observe by the observation, we can say the given problem is in terms of f of x comma y means function of x comma y so it is in the cartesian form first we are going to discuss how to find the orthogonal trajectory in the cartesian form okay if the function is in terms of x and y first we have to consider this as the equation number one which is equal to c or else whatever it may be friends okay now where c is an arbitrary parameter or else a constant like okay First, what we have to do? We have to form a differential equation. For that, we have to differentiate equation 1 with respect to x. We have to eliminate the parameter. Okay. Then, you will get a differential equation of 1. Okay. Like this, f of x comma y comma dy by dx, which is equal to 0. Okay. This is called a differential equation of 1. Now, what we require to find? We require orthogonal trajectory. Okay. Orthogonal trajectory. For that, we have to replace dy by dx by minus dx by dy. Okay, friends. Now, if we replace it, then you will have f of x comma y comma minus dx by dy is equal to 0 is a orthogonal differential equation which is a first order and first degree. Now, you have to simplify this by using variable separable method or inspection method or else exact, non-exact, any other method. Then finally, we have to simplify. Then we will get the solution that is in terms of f of x comma y comma c1 is equal to 0 where c1 is any arbitrary constant or parameter. Clear friends? This is called orthogonal trajectory of the given family. Is it clear friends? Okay. Now, I am considering the given function is x square by a square plus y square by b square plus lambda is equal to 1 as equation number 1 where lambda being a parameter. Now I am differentiating equation 1 with respect to x and we have to eliminate that parameter. Okay friends, if I differentiated equation 1 with respect to x, I will have 2x by a square plus here you observe friends, actually a square is a constant. So, 1 by a square is a constant. x square derivative is 2x. Similarly, what is the constant here? b square plus lambda. That is in the denominator. So, 1 by b square plus lambda is a constant. Now, y square derivative is 2y into inner derivative is dy by dx, which is equal to what do you have right side part? 1. That is a constant. Constant derivative with respect to x is 0. Okay. Now, is a parameter eliminated here? No. So, what we have to do? We need to eliminate this lambda. For that, you simplify this equation. First, numerator x is there. I am taking a right side. Uh, then, 2 also, I can take common. If I take an uh, divide with 2, it will be getting cancelled. Means, you will get 0. So, friends, you observe x by a square. If you simplify this, then you will have x by a square plus y by b square plus lambda into dy by dx is equal to 0. From this, I am eliminating a lambda. So, y by b square plus lambda into dy by dx is equal to minus x by a square. Okay, friends. Now, what I want actually? B, lambda only. So, instead of lambda, I am uh, taking only 1 by b square plus lambda left side. Then, dy by dx, which is equal to? minus x by a square into y. Now, only I want this part because this part is appearing in the equation 1. If I eliminated this b, uh, 1 by b square plus lambda, you will get the required differential equation of a 1. Okay, friends. Now, I am writing, I can write this as 1 by b square plus lambda which is equal to minus x by a square into y into dx by dy. Reverse. Yes or no? No. So, substitute this value in equation number 1. What is the equation you have? x square by a square. Substitute in 1. x by x square by a square plus y square by b square plus lambda. What is 1 by b square plus lambda? Here you have minus x by a square y into dx by dy which is equal to 1. 
Yes or no? You observe friends what we have in equation 1? Yes, 1 by v square plus lambda value we have written right now. So, this is a differential equation of the 1. But what you required? Orthogonal trajectory. Now, you simplify this. Denominator is containing y, numerator is y square. So, y, y getting cancelled friends. Now, replace to get the orthogonal trajectory. We have to replace dy by dx by minus dx by dy. Actually, here what we have? dx by dy. So, you can replace this one with minus dy by dx. Okay, friends. Then we will have equation 2 implies x square by a square. Here you observe friends, minus is there, minus x into y, xy by a square. What I can write dx by dy, D, dy by dx if you have, you can write minus dx by dy. But here you have a dx by dy. So you can write minus dy by dx which is equal to 1. Now if you simplify this, first you simplify friends, minus into minus plus x squared by a squared by a square minus into minus plus into dy by dx which is equal to 1. Okay friends, which is called a first order and first degree differential equation. Denominator is uh, containing a square. Okay, so I can take a square common and I can take it as a right side. Then I will have, you see friends, x square plus here I forgot to write y value. Okay, x square plus xy into dy by dx is equal to here what is the common term lcm is what 1 by a square if you take a right side you will have a square now if you simplify it, xy into dy by dx is equal to a square minus x square from this what you can say d actually variable separable method you can do okay now dy quotient should be what y and whatever the dx quotient x term dx is in the denominator so take right side then you will have a square here here i am writing a dx friends what is the dx quotient here here you have you have a left side x so take right side then it will become 1 by x so a square by x minus x square by x means x now you can integrate on both side so if you are integrated on both side then you will have integral of y dy which is equal to integral of a square by x minus x into dx so if you are integrated on both sides then you will have y squared by 2 because we are integrating y with respect to y which is equal to a square is a constant now 1 by x integration denominator x is there numerator 1 is there denominator derivative in the numerator so log of denominator the denominator is x minus x integration is x squared by 2 plus you can say one arbitrary constant so i can rewrite this one as so minus x squared by 2 all the terms you have taken right side, then x square by 2 plus y square by 2 minus a square log x which is equal to c. So I can take 2 is a common, then I will have x square plus y square minus 2a square log x is equal to one arbitrary constant c1. Okay friends, of course 2c is also correct only. Even if you did up to this is also correct. So this is called orthogonal trajectory of the given family. You see x square by a square plus y square by b square plus lambda is equal to 1. So like this we have to find out the orthogonal trajectory of the given family of curves. Is it clear friends everyone? Right. So similarly we are going to solve few more problems on this topic. Thank you for watching this video.